Ladies and gentlemen, if you're just tuning in, this is the Harmony Wedding Planning Benefit, and we're raising money for several worthy causes. Right now, we're conducting a contest where the young couples you see are competing for perfect couple. They've already been judged on various events, and what you're seeing now is the Garter Removal Contest. One day, Ethan, you'll realize you love me and not Gwen. And we'll be doing this for real, at our own wedding. Ethan, the contest is over. Right. Contest is over. <laughs> uh, Chad and Whitney won. Yes. Isn't that great? <laughs> it's terrific. I wonder where they are. Well... Chad's over there, and Whitney's over there. I think she was really shaken up by all of this. It is so obvious that Whitney likes Chad a lot, and he likes her. I don't understand why they can't see it. I don't know. Maybe if they were chosen for a perfect couple, Whitney would wake up and see that she does have feelings for him. And that would work. Maybe. You think so? Yes. When a person is denying their feelings, sometimes they need a little shock to make them see the truth. And uh, winning the most perfect couple might just be the shock Chad and Whitney need. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the judges will need a few moments to confer, and then we'll announce this year's perfect couple. Well, uh, good luck, you two. <laughs> you Thanks. too. You too? Where's Whitney? Oh, no, man, she, uh, couldn't get away from me fast enough. I better go see if I can find her. I think you like Chad and you're trying to tell yourself you don't. Look, Trace, I'm not denying my feelings. I'm just not interested in getting involved with anyone, especially Chad. Why especially Chad? I mean, what's wrong with him? For one, he's a street kid. That's what your mom says. Yeah, and she's right. I think Chad is a nice person. He and Ethan are becoming friends, and I know Ethan wouldn't be friends with someone unless he felt he was a good person. Well, Ethan's entitled to think what he likes. Well, I like Chad. Something tells me that he's special. Who, oh, Chad? Don't ask me how I know. I, I, I just feel it. He's got something special going on, Whitney, and if you like him, even a little bit, well, then you better make your move. Because he's smart, he's gorgeous, and he's a hard worker. And one of these days, he's going to be a very eligible bachelor. Well, he may be, Teresa. But he's not for me. Why not? He likes you. I know he does. Don't keep pushing him away, Whitney. Or else you'll lose out on love. I can't believe they picked us. <laughs> really? <laughs> Ethan, remember what you said about... Whitney and Chad being chosen most perfect couple, that it might be a wake-up call for anyone else who might be denying their feelings? Yes, I remember saying that. Well? Well, uh, I think after what happened, that someone is trying to tell me something. Do you really think someone is trying to tell us something? Yes, I think someone is trying to tell us that even expert judges can be wrong about love. What? Well, I mean, you know, Chad and Whitney may very well be in love, and the perfect couple, but not us. I mean, we're just friends. There's no way we could ever be a couple. <laughs>